Hey tech enthusiasts! Glowing Star Samsung is making strides with the development of Android 15 firmware for its legendary Galaxy S23 range. Reports indicate that the Korean company is set to launch the One UI 7.0 beta program later this year, promising a series of exciting upgrades and new features. Let's dive into all the details. Rocket. Subscribe and sponsor. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all the latest tech news and updates. And now a quick shout out to our sponsor. Sponsor segment. This video is sponsored by Snow Brothers 2 Special, a nostalgic gem from the arcade days. Originally launched in 1994, this beloved game is making a comeback next year with an updated version that you can wishlist on Steam right now. The game retains its classic four-player arcade action platforming, now with updated visuals and online multiplayer. It also features cross-platform play between PC and Nintendo Switch, along with new challenge modes like Survival, Time Attack, and Skyrun. Snow Brothers 2 special launches early next year, so don't miss it. Wishlist it on Steam through the link in the description for updates. Let's jump back into the exciting news. Samsung may have taken the initial step towards developing Android 15 firmware for the Galaxy S23 range. Reports indicate that the One UI 7.0 beta program is on the horizon, bringing a wealth of upgrades to users. Android 15 One UI 7.0 Development The first Android 15 One UI 7.0 test firmware was spotted by Tarun Vats on Samsung servers for the Galaxy A53. This update will mark the A53's third significant operating system upgrade, with Android 16 and One UI 8.0 still to come. For the Galaxy S23 series, development seems to be gaining momentum. Tarun Vats also spotted Android 15 firmware for the S23 series, indicating they will be part of the second batch of devices to get the One UI 7.0 beta program. Interestingly, a Galaxy S23 Ultra running Android 15 was benchmarked as early as July this year, showing Samsung has been working on this update for some time. Despite this, test builds for the Galaxy S23 series have only now gone live on Samsung's firmware servers. One UI 7.0 Beta Program Samsung's approach to Android 15 development extends across various Galaxy smartphones, leading up to the highly anticipated One UI 7.0 beta program. Galaxy S24, S24 Plus, and S24 Ultra users are expected to get early access, followed by the Galaxy S23 series and Galaxy Z Fold 6. Comparing One UI to Pixel UI? While Google's Pixel UI has improved, it still feels minimalistic compared to Samsung's One UI. As a Pixel enthusiast and Pixel 8 owner, I've admired the simplicity of stock Android, but Samsung's One UI makes me wish Google would adopt some of its standout features. For example, lock screen widgets, Samsung's always on display includes widgets, albeit limited to first party apps. Google could allow third party developers to create lock screen widgets for a more tailored experience. Secure folder, Samsung's secure folder integrates smoothly with gallery and files apps. Google's private space feels disjointed in comparison. Mobile hotspot controls. One UI offers extensive hotspot customization, a boon for users with limited data plans. Director's view. This tool allows simultaneous recording from front and rear cameras, a feature Google could replicate for its camera-centric Pixel devices. Routines automation. Samsung's routines automates tasks based on location or behavior, something Google's productivity tools lack. Anticipated One UI 7.0 features. Looking forward, the One UI 7.0 update based on Android 15 is expected to bring significant changes. New two page quick panel UI, one screen for notifications and another for quick setting toggles. Refined notifications, softened edges, a new battery icon, and charging animation. Enhanced animations and transitions across the UI. Redesigned app icons and new widgets for the home and lock screens. If you own a Galaxy S24 series phone and live in South Korea, you can check for the update by navigating to Settings Software Update Download and Install. Advanced users can download the firmware from Samsung's database and flash it manually using the Odin tool, though caution is advised to avoid data loss.